Hello everyone, this is Dr. Esperanza at welcome sa aking YouTube channel. At for today, we're going to be working on one of the many applications of the derivative which is the first derivative test na kung saan mag analyze tayo ng function f of x gamit ang derivative function. So do stick around at tuturan ko kayo kung paano gamitin ang mga derivative rules sa pag-analyze ng mga function. Paano natin makukuha Kung kailan nag increase nag-de-decrease, relative max and relative min ang ating function kung hindi natin nakikita yung graph. So, gagamitan natin siya ng derivative dahil, again, ang critical number or yung vertex ng ating mga function ay nangyayari sa solutions ng ating f prime of x. So, kukunin lang natin itong f prime of x equal to 0 at makukuha na natin yung mga relative extrema natin na kailangan natin sa ating analysis. So, working on our derivative, kung ating y ay x cubed minus 3x plus 2, y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 3. At kukunin natin yung solution niya, which is y prime equals 0 or f prime of x equal to 0. At yun ay simply 3x squared minus 3 equals 0. And by adding 3 on both sides, we'll have 3x squared equal to 3. And by dividing by 3, x squared is equal to 1. So ang ating values ng ating mga solutions would be x equal to the square root of positive and negative 1. So, ang x natin is happening sa dalawang values ng x which is at positive and negative 1. Now, paano naman natin malalaman kung ito ay relative max or relative minimum kung hindi natin nakikita yung graph? Gagamitan naman natin siya ng sign chart na tinatawag. At ang sign chart, dito natin makikita kung yung ating derivative function ay nag increase or nag -de decrease base sa value ng ating f prime of x. So, yung ating f prime of x, ang bench ay nang, nangyayari sa negative 1 at sa positive 1. So, ang kukunin natin ngayon is yung value ng ating mga function from this point all the way to the negative infinity. So, pipili lang tayo ng value ng x na mas maliit sa negative 1. So, let's say f prime of negative 2. Dahil yung negative 2 is somewhere here. So, titignan natin kung yung negative 2 ay positive or negative ang value ng kanyang slope. So, substitute natin sa value na yan. 3 times negative 2 squared minus 3, which is 3 times negative or positive 4 minus 3, which is 12 minus 3. So, meron tayong positive value ng ating interval ng negative 1 going to the left. At ang susunod naman nating interval would be from here to here in between negative 1 and 1, which is ang pipiliin natin, yung pinakamadali, which is 0. Kasi nasa loob siya ng interval ng negative 1 and 1. So, f prime of 0 will be 3 times 0 squared minus 3, which is equal to negative 3. So, negative naman ang value ng ating f prime of x between negative 1 and 1. At yung ating susunod, which is anything to the right of x equal to 1. So, f prime of pili kayo ng number na papasok sa greater than 1. So, pili tayo ng 2. F prime of 2. So, F prime of 2 would be 3 times 2 squared minus 3, which is 3 times 4 minus 3, which is 12 minus 3, which is also a positive value. Now, ano, ano naman ang kahalagahan ng sign chart dito sa ating analysis? Yung sign chart natin na magtuturo sa atin kung ano sa negative 1 and positive 1 ang ating relative max at relative minimum. At gagawa tayo ng little diagram dun sa ating sign chart. And to do that, 
positive daw yung ating mga values dito sa negative 1 to the left. So, up, up, up. And then, pagdating ng negative 1, it become negative. So, down, down, down. At, at x equal to 1, nag-change na naman siya ng direction into positive. Up, up, up. At ngayon, pwede na nating makita kung alin sa dalawa yung ating relative max and relative min. And in this case, ito yung ating max and ito yung ating minimum. So, medyo magulo yung ating analysis pero alam natin na alam natin na ang function natin ay nag increase dito sa values na positive. So, x less than negative 1. It's increasing and it's also increasing at x greater than positive 1. At decreasing naman siya dito sa intervals na to. So, it's decreasing yung ating f of x in between negative 1 and positive 1. At ang relative max and relative min natin ay madali na natin makuha dahil ang relative max natin, it happens at x equal to negative 1. At ang ating relative min ay nangyayari at x equal to positive 1. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na first derivative test na kung saan kahit hindi natin nakikita yung graph ng f of x, ma-analyze pa rin natin siya using derivative. At dito sa ating first derivative test, nakita natin kung saan siya nag-i-increase, saan siya nag decrease relative max and relative min using our derivative. At yung sa susunod nating example, we have x squared minus 2x minus 3. So, kung kukunin natin yung kanyang analysis, so critical numbers, f prime of x is equal to 0, which is basically f prime of x equal to 2x minus 2. Kukunin natin yung solution niya by equating 2x squared or 2x minus 2 equal to 0. So, we have 2x equal to 2 and we'll have x equal to 1. So, mapapansin nyo na iisa lang yung critical number natin dahil parabola yung graph ng ating f of x. So, kung parabola yan, isa lang yung ating bend. It's either going up or going down. So, to finish our work, kuha tayo ng sign chart. x equal to 1. So, i-compare natin yung values ng f prime of x to the left of 1 and to the right of positive 1. So, kukuha tayo ng f prime of sa less than 1, I would choose 0 dahil yun yung pinakamadali. So, yung ating 2, 0, minus 2 will give us negative 2 which means negative yung ating function na less than 1 at f prime of greater than 1, I'll choose 2. Tingnan naman natin kung anong value ng derivative at x equal to 2. So, we'll have this once again, 2 times 2 minus 2, 4 minus 2, which is equal to positive 2. So, we have a positive value ng ating f prime of x that is greater than 1. So, ang function natin, nag increase siya at 1 and positive infinity. So, notice, gumamit naman ako ngayon ng set notation using um, limit or boundaries or parentheses method. Now, it's decreasing anything that is to the left of 1, which is negative infinity all the way to positive 1. At ang relative max natin, Tingnan natin kung meron tayong relative maximum. This function is negative. Negative. So, going down, 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 down. And then, it went up after 1. So, makikita natin na meron tayong critical number or bend or vertex. Pero, hindi siya relative maximum. Dahil, yung ating f prime of x is not changed from negative to positive. So, this one, relative max is none. Pero ang ating relative minimum ay x equal to 1. 
So yan yung ating first derivative test sa function na x squared minus 2x minus 3 na kahit hindi natin nakikita yung graph ng ating function, na-analyze natin yung behavior ng ating graph. And again, this is Dr. Esperanza and thank you for watching my YouTube video. At kung nagustuhan mo yung lesson na tinuro ko sa inyo, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. At kung nahihiraman ka sa mga calculus, algebra, trigonometry, at iba pa mga math lessons nyo, nood lang kayo na aking YouTube channel para matulungan ko kayo sa aking mga math videos.